guys, welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. I currently have no face makeup on because I'm gonna be testing some skincare in this video. If you are a Charlotte Tilbury fan, you are gonna enjoy this video. I was lucky enough to go to the launch of Charlotte Tilbury going into Space NK, which by the way was amazing. I'm gonna put some pictures here so you can see the event. It was so amazing. Definitely pop into a Space NK if you are close to one because the Charlotte Tilbury section is incredible. Joan Collins even come to the event. What a queen. So basically, if you've been following my YouTube channel for a while, you will know that I am such a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I do genuinely just love the brand so much. But the skincare side of things, I haven't really tried much of. And I do have some skincare bits in my little goodie bag. So... I'm gonna dive into this, I'm gonna do two masks, I'm gonna put on all the creams, and we're gonna see if the Charlotte Tilbury skincare is worth the hype. Okay, so first off, obviously this is gonna be happening because I've never tried this before, and I've heard a lot of things about this. But first of all, I'm gonna try this. I didn't even know that this existed in the Charlotte Tilbury range, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Goddess Skin Clay mask um it says it visibly lifts smooths and brightens for youthful looking soft skin appears very visibly hydrated rejuvenated skin feels smoother firmer plumper apply a thin layer all over the face and leave for 10 minutes i've got a little mini of this to try i mean they've definitely hyped this up so i'm excited to see if this works i haven't heard anyone ever talk about this like a paste okay it feels very very gentle so far which is good for me <laughs> I feel like this smells a little bit like Dermalogica I mean I'm looking great why has my lighting gone so dark honestly it's like winter outside I don't know if I'm putting this on too thickly or not okay I need to <coughs> go and wash my hands to be fair I feel like I didn't even use that much of it and that was a mini so I feel like you get quite a lot out of it that was just 15 mils so I'm not sure if you can buy this or is this a tester I'm not sure but it feels like you've got quite a lot of product in there to be fair so I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes and we'll see what magic it does. <laughs> right, it has probably been over 10 minutes now, but I'm gonna take this mask off. I've got nice hot flannel. Oh, okay, it's come off really, really easily. It did feel like such a gentle mask, to be fair. So I feel like you just pop this on maybe a couple of times a week. Only thing with sheet mask is that, <laughs> I don't know, I just get nervous to use them if it's not like a special occasion because what if I really, really like it and then I've, I've used it, do you know what I mean? Whereas with like a mask like this, I've got the tube so I can then, I know next time I wanna do a nice face mask, I've got it here. Oh, that spots come out a bit. <laughs> during that mask, which is quite good, I guess. It's bringing out the impurities. From one mask to another mask. Uh, instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. A dry sheet mask just kind of baffles me. I'm not gonna lie, um, because I, I don't understand how it works. Hydrates, lifts, reduces wrinkles, smooths and brightens. To unfold your dry sheet mask, place the pink side onto cleansed Skin. I can't believe I've ever tried this before. I feel like so behind. It just feels so weird that it's dry. I didn't realise it had the CT print on it. That's quite cool. Pink side. Okay. So we're putting both loops over the ears. <laughs> I'm sorry, but how do people look cool in this face mask? I've seen people do Instagram like, stories and stuff. Like, really? What is really interesting with this, though, that this mask can be used up to three times. It does baffle me how this works. Right, so now it says gently massage on top to activate your dry sheet mask. How? What I like with this one is that it does come down, like, lower than other face masks I've used, so it's kind of treating the chin as well, which is great. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes, and I will come back to reveal my new plumped up, smooth, wrinkle-free skin. <laughs> right, let's get this mask off. 
It is actually quite comfy. I don't know. Has it has it made my skin look good? It feels soft. Oh my god, what is that? These are like bringing out spots everywhere. I guess it's kind of just bringing everything out of the skin. I guess it's a good thing. I mean, let me know what you guys think of this mask in the comments below. Uh, obviously, I'm new to it, so I'm a bit skeptical at the minute because it's not like you get that instant hydrated, moisturized feeling. But like look at my skin it does actually feel like really plumped up and soft i'm gonna keep that in this little pouch so that i can reuse this another couple of times now i'm gonna go in with the holy grail i mean need i say any more the magic cream if you haven't tried it I mean, I would say this is my number one product within Charlotte Tilbury, like over makeup and everything. Like, I love this stuff so much. It's such an incredible cream and I do feel like it's worth the hype. I cannot tell you how much I love this cream. It's just the best. Hydrated, glowing, soft, soothing, gentle. It's just everything I want in a moisturizer. I have never tried this before. I know I've just put on the Magic Day Cream, but I do just wanna try the Magic Night Cream because it says beauty sleep in a cream Alexa. Wake up to dramatically new supple and plumper skin that radiates cocktail of latest cutting edge technology. I mean, there is so much that it says that it does on this, so I definitely will be trying this out over the next few nights oh okay it's like slightly apricot kind of color um and it does look wow a lot thicker do you know what it reminds me of a bit like eight hour cream but a little bit more liquidy so it is more like a balm on the skin really like that okay i can see a hundred percent the difference between the day and night cream this is more yeah like a, a serum balm super thick which i really like like i like to go to bed feeling like i've got product on my skin so i'm gonna be wearing this for the next few nights but oh, it feels good on the skin it smells really really nice as well skin is looking quite good at the minute even though i have got some breakouts going on i feel like my skin skin is glowing kind of like an oil in a balm if you know what i mean product i have never tried before the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer i love how like all of the names are just so like <gasps> they make you excited about the product this is a tinted primer this is really nice. Beautiful, really moisturizing primer. Nice bit of radiance to it. The texture's more like a jelly. I mean, for them like no makeup days, a product like this just makes your skin look so good. Second favorite Charlotte Tilbury product, Flawless Filter. It's incredible. This is a new bottle that I've bought. This is a slightly darker shade than the one that I had before. I think I had number three before. This is number five, tan, and I really like this all over my skin. Now, if you wanna look like you've got no makeup on, but you have the most perfect skin, then this is the product for you. I love that you have the applicator with it. I kind of just put it on all over, and then I work it in with my fingers to be honest i wouldn't say that you need the primer as well as this i would just go straight in with the flawless filter because this kind of does everything that you want it to do just gonna press that into the skin with a beauty blender i do love using it as a highlighter when i just want like a natural dew to the skin because it just it doesn't look like a highlighter it looks like you've just got a glow on your cheekbones um, but on its own or underneath makeup is just so nice as well. Okay, I am going like makeup free today. So this is all I'm going to do to my skin. I don't have anything else on. I don't have any concealer foundation. But I just look like I'm naturally glowing. Thanks to Charlotte Tilbury. I do think that the Magic Night Cream is going to be a bit of a game changer for me. Because I really, really love that consistency. Definitely wouldn't recommend to wear it during the day. Because it is super, super thick and quite oily. Yeah, let me know if you guys recommend any other Charlotte Tilbury skincare products in the comments below. My standouts, Magic Cream, Flawless Filter, amazing. I actually think that I prefer 
the clay mask rather than the sheet mask but maybe i might change my mind after a few uses but i will let you guys know follow me on my instagram so you can keep on top of everything i'm doing and then i can answer all your questions on there as well really hope you're having a good week beauties and i will see you in my next video bye